Hello YouTube fans, this is the Scar Clown here to do my top 10 videos that, I mean, top 10 movies that I like. Um, some of them, um, I hope you guys do enjoy, um, the ones that I do say about it, and I hope you guys watch them. So, here we go, and I'm about to do it, and Sergeant Wolf is playing, uh, PlayStation All-Stars. I will review that sooner or later, just not now. It's time to do some movies right now. Alright, number 10 is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Obviously. Uh. Obvious fucking Lee. This is a good ass movie. It's not for everybody. Yes, it is true. It's not for everybody. But, those people that watched it loved it as hell. People say that did what Some people that watched it say it's better than a... Con I mean, it's... The comic books are better than the movie, and they do mention that in the movie, which is fucking hilarious, and that's really good, I love when they do that, but it's still a good movie, I recommend it to anybody who's a fan of Scott Pilgrim, the comic books, or in the movie, if you guys never seen, the, if you guys never got the comic books, highly recommend to buy them, all I need is volume 2, that's all I need, volume 2, I'm looking for you, you're gonna be my bitch once I find you, number 10, I mean, that's a 10, Number nine! Yeah, because last time I recorded, I said eight like twice and seven three times or something. You know, it, it doesn't even fucking matter. But anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. If I fuck up, you guys know what I'm talking about. Wait, right. number nine, Batman Begins. Does Batman Begins have its flaws? Yes, it does. Is it a okay movie? It's a good movie. It's not okay. It's good. A lot of people, you know, nitpicking some stuff, but when you all look at it, it's a really good movie. Highly recommend it. About Gazo Go, the character, I really didn't not care for Gazo Go. I cared about more about Scarecrow, like in Batman, uh, Bat, um, Bat, um, Dark Knight Rises. I cared about more about Bane than Gazo Go's daughter and everything. It just hits you like that. Oh, spoiler, by the way. <laughs> So, it's like, what the fuck, you know? And she's not even hot. In the fucking video game, she's fucking hot as hell. Just saying. I think you kind of fucked it up right there, movie. So, I mean, I didn't find her attractive. I just found her as a bitch. Um, number not, um, the, see, I'm doing it again. Number eight is The Hunger Games. If you guys have not watched this movie, shame on you. Shame on fucking you. The Hunger Games is a good movie. Highly recommend it. It's based on a book, obviously. And, um, mostly, mostly in this list is mostly from books. But The Hunger Finally! Games... Finally! Well, anyways. Uh, <laughs> the Hunger Games is a good movie. Highly recommend it. And, uh... Ah, my foot. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, I gotta fix the camera because, you know, the camera post is not doing it, right? But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the Hunger Games! <laughs> Better? Yeah. Alright, anyways, The Hunger Games is a good movie. Highly recommend it. And Sergeant Wolfhound is going to the hospital. No. But, um. <laughs> Check out the Hunger <laughs> Games. It's a good movie. I can't wait for the second one. And I can't wait for the third one coming probably in 2015. So, uh, probably 2015 or 14. I don't know. It depends. So, number seven. Godzilla 2000. Fucking amazing. Amazing movie. The one thing that I haven't complained about, it's probably a nitpick or something, is the CGI. Godzilla is just... They couldn't, like, make the Godzilla do that or something. Try to get a robotic Godzilla. That kind of bothered me a little bit. It still bothers me to this day. And just every time I watch that part, it's like, ugh. Stop the movie. Get the fuck out of here. But it's a good movie. Recommend if you're a Godzilla fan. And if you can't wait for the Godzilla remake. Or, I don't know what it is. Probably remake. But if you can't wait for the Godzilla one that's coming out soon... I can't wait for it. I don't know if it's coming out next year or this year, so I really don't know. 
hopefully someone can give me some info down there and I hope you do because I really love Godzilla I've been watching Godzilla since I was a little kid and I loved it ever since he's like my favorite monster of all time better than Frankenstein better than a wolfman better than anything that I can ever say so alright number six is topic werewolf zombies oh yeah there's a topic right there I had, a, I had a dream of werewolf zombies. Okay, what would happen if werewolf and zombies became together? One. one. Just one. What would happen? Just think about that. Zombies and werewolves. They never made a movie of that. But if they do, if they can capitalize on that, I bet it will be a good movie. If they do really, really hard, it'll be a good, good movie. If they don't fuck it up. If Michael Bay does not do this movie, it'll be good. We'll, we'll have a chance. Anyways. Uh, Dude, in later news. In later news. <laughs> number six. Yeah, later news. In number six, Juno. Juno is a really good movie. Also, it is um a, also a book. Um, it's about this girl that gets pregnant from this guy. Obviously, it's kind of like the world today. I mean, what the fuck, you know? Uh, I think this is how. I think. Fight. I don't think this movie is like a wake up call to any girls out there that want to get that got pregnant or anything. But if it if it is a wake up call, okay, that's probably doing the book justice. Um, if it's not doing it, then what can you do? You can't stop. You can't have having kids, having babies. You know, babies having babies. That's what they say in Law and Order. But <laughs> you know, whatever. Yes, I watch Law and Order. Don't fucking judge me. But Juno is a good movie. Highly recommend it. I don't know. If I never heard of anyone didn't like it. So a lot of people complain about Michael Cera is not a good actor or anything, but that was not until Scott Pilgrim came. But this was before Scott Pilgrim. So, um, number five, one of my favorite movies, Love Dinosaurs, like a, or like Godzilla. I had to watch this movie. Jurassic Park came out in 1993. Everyone was like, "How come you wasn't born? How come?" How come I didn't watch it in 93? Because I was born in 93. I was a little baby. How was I going to watch the movie if I was born in 93? All right. Um, it is a good movie. I can't wait for the... I can't wait for it to come back in theaters in 3D. It will give me an opportunity to watch it. Like, a, like I mean, I've seen the movie before, but this time differently. You know, fresh thing in 3D. I hope the 3D looks really good. And the trailer looks epic. So that's all I have to say about Jurassic Park, and I can't wait for it. Number two, actually, number two, a lot of people don't like it. Um, I like it. As a Jurassic Park movie, it sucks. But I, as a Lost World movie, it is fucking awesome. Awesome. And fuck you. Uh, Jurassic Park 3, a lot of people don't like. I actually liked it. I was satisfied about it. So that's all I have to say. Um, Number... Four, Naked Gun, hilarious, came out in the 80s. Um, there is more sequels to it, but I've never seen it. I, I only have number one. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. It's a really good movie, highly recommend it. And the guy that was the, the guy, the main guy in the movie, he died a while back in. He was in Scary Movie um, 3 and 4, and that's about it. And... Kind of wish he was still alive, you know. Good, great actor, and I hope. Um, hopefully, they they probably will remake Naked Gun, but who knows? I really doubt it. Look at me, highly doubt it. Come on, this is the 21st century. Everything will be remade. Um, but this is one of the movies that should not be remade, and that's number three, E.T. The Extraterrestrial. That movie should not be remade for any reason whatsoever. It's a good Fucking movie. Bomb. Sorry. It's a bomb. -bom. It's a good movie. Highly recommend it. Um, I'll, like, if you guys watched my review about it, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, check that out. And you guys know how I feel about it. It's really good. I like it. And I, I watched it when I was a little kid. Loved it. Does it hold up to this day? To me, it does. So, you know, when I got the DVD, a lot of people were like, why E.T., though? You know why? Because E.T. is fucking awesome. Okay? The angry video game nerd is going to do a review of the fucking um, game in his movie. I mean, I know the Irate Game Nerd did it, and I mean, I watched his video. I kind of, I do enjoy Irate Game Nerd, but whatever. A lot of people might not like, not might not like him, but oh well. Um, the Social Network, 
good, good, good movie. And, that, and this is number two because uh, The Social Network is a really, really, really good movie. And uh, I really hope that uh, we get we do get a movie about Twitter, but we probably won't. Um, I don't know about MySpace because MySpace is just gone now. I mean, even the, the guy that created um, MySpace is long gone. He he <laughs> threw that shit away. He sold it to somebody else. That's kind of disappointing when you give up on your own creation. Hmm. Excuse me. Um. So I had soup. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. Um. The Social Network. Oh. Um. It's a good movie. Highly recommend it. But it's not one of those movies that you watch every time you want to watch it. It's like one of those movies that you watch once in a while. It's not one of those movies like, Oh, dude, this is awesome. Let's watch it. You know, it's not one of those movies. Um, but it's a good movie. It, some parts are funny. Some parts are really serious, which is supposed to happen. Because it's one, it's a fr two friends making one thing, and then they're, like, fighting over it, basically. But whatever. Um, all right. Time for number one. And, the num and, my, favorite num and my favorite number one movie is